So it's great for the uh, school, you know, and I just plan on going out there and just do our thing and just keep playing the ball like how we've been doing. What's it like playing in this team right now with the success you guys are finding and it's a different guy every single game who kind of pops off? Uh, it's just something we've been working on. You know, we know in the D-line room, it's a lot of competition in there. You know, we compete every day and we just all making each other better. You know, just everybody bringing each other better each and every day. Zariah, Amin just said that you have a joy about you that's pretty infectious uh, among the group. Where does that come from for you? Coach Franklin's talked about some of the adversity you've dealt with. How are you able to, to maintain that positive attitude? Uh, Just knowing, like, I don't really look too far down the road. I just focus on one day at a time. So I just try to wake up with a, a positive attitude. That's one thing we talk about with the team. I try to wake up with a positive attitude and just go about my day. Is that an attitude that helped you last year, or is that an attitude that developed last year with, with what you were dealing with? Uh, I say both. I say both. You know, being injured last year, you know, that's something I had to deal with having a positive attitude. I couldn't really walk around here with a bad attitude. I just had to deal with it. You know, just just keep getting my knee right every day. Is that you, the core value that means the most to you? You think out of the four? Positive attitude. Yeah, that and work ethic. I believe in work ethic too, because you can't if you're not working at it, you're not gonna get better. You know, so. What is it? What is it about this sport, maybe even this team, that that brings you the most joy? Um. Uh, I say the brotherhood, the brotherhood, it's like, a, like, it's really a brotherhood. I don't know how it is at other schools, but here, ever since I got here freshman year, you know, it's just been a, a huge brotherhood. And that's something I've been dealing with in high school, you know, like brotherhood in high school when I was Cooper, it was always that. So it was great coming to college and having that brotherhood the same way. Do you remember the first time you met Manny Diaz? Do you remember his first meeting with you guys? I think it was the Outback Bowl. Mm -hmm. Outback Bowl, that's the time I remember him coming. What do you remember about that? Uh. I mean, I think probably like it was a long time ago. Yeah, Britt probably was still there at the time, you know. But I remember Manny being on the sideline that game and just giving us little details on what Arkansas was doing. That's all I remember. Mm -hmm. I know Coach Pry was a pretty big favorite in the room, and, yeah. and Coach Franklin alluded to it on Tuesday that him leaving and having a new guy come in in his wake of leaving was even tougher. I guess, did you guys sense that as players in terms of okay, this guy's got to replace a really tough one here? And, mm -hmm. and what did he do to kind of make you uh, feel that things would be okay? Uh, I say Manny and Pry are very similar in a way, you know. But I say like Pry, I say like Manny, he's more like he's more reckless like on defense. Like he went us flying to the ball, like getting vertical. Pry it was kind of different. Like he more fundamental, you know, but. They're both the same. Like they both, it's kind of like the similar. It's kind of like similar plays in a way, but it's just like a little different. Zariah, we, we saw you out here on the practice field last fall, watching a lot of practice. So, what did you gain from that? And, and what were some of the, the, I guess, more the tougher days in, in that process of working your way back when you weren't quite ready to be involved? Uh, I really just focused on getting better. I know last year, uh, I really couldn't. I say last year, well, two years ago, my sophomore year. I was good in the run game, but I wanted to improve in the passing game, you know. So last year when I came back uh, later, it was like November or whatever, I just wanted to work on pass rush, you know. So I just I feel like I developed my pass rush really good. Is that something that you bonded over with Dion with? I know he spent a lot of time extra with, with pass rush. Were you two uh, working to the side at all last year before uh, you became the defensive line coach or something? Yeah, stuff? a little bit, but I was going, I was uh, working out at home too, and yeah. I was going to Arizona to work out too. When home. was When was that? Uh, when was it? It was so I, it was so long ago. I don't was even this remember. Last fall, though. No, not no, last. I was fall, gonna no. say that would've been a strange time to do yeah, that. It was a, it was this earlier this year, and it was uh, two years ago too. Okay. Yeah. Did you receive any like advice from Adisa Isaac on that timeout? Because I know he went through you know similar. Process. Yeah, me and Adisa, you know, man, he was talking to me a lot because he know how I, he know how I feel to miss a whole year, you know. And he just was in my head a lot, like saying, Johnny bro, just Dixon, be positive, Johnny you know, Johnny. like it's going to be over. And it flew, that year flew, and I'm happy to be back. He got heavier too. He's not as light as he used to be. And yeah, like he's more physical in the run game, honestly. How do you sense that as a defender when an offensive lineman is just generally more physical than maybe they used to be? How do you pick up on that? Is it just consistency? Is it pain? How do you feel that? It's just that contact. Like with his run block, you know he about to come at you. Man, I just it was just a difference this year. Like he was more powerful, more heavy. I had to really I had to really hold my ground with him. Two more guys. How's Jameel Lyons coming along? Uh, you know, I guess two months into his on field career here. Man, he's gonna be a dog for us. Like y'all gonna hear his name a lot these next couple of years. Like he's he's a dog. He's gonna be a dog. He's a dog right now, but you know the the room is just you know it's loaded right now, you know, but he's a dog. Like if he, I feel like he was at any other school, he'd be playing. Like He's a dog. When you think of your process of rehabbing and coming back and playing out pretty consistently, where would you say you're most proud of? Uh, 
pass rush. I say pass rush because, like, my sophomore year, I really couldn't pass rush. Like, I used to go down the middle every time. I couldn't flip my hips. Uh, I couldn't read hands like that. You know, I just, I feel like I got so much better rushing. Like, it's, like, natural now. Like, I can see what the tackle trying to do with me. Just little things like that. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you.